kind of a, a con contrarian view to what you guys are talking about is we live in a cash is trash type world right now. Mm -hmm. I always like sitting on at least six months of reserves, if not more, yeah, in agreed. case something were to happen. Like I'll rest my head easy at night knowing that nothing is going to happen to the nest egg. And um, so we've been comfortable in a W-2 job, uh, my wife and I, for a decade now. And when we we've always built the real estate portfolio as a hedge to uh, an airline downturn. And when we not knowing that we would completely lose our jobs. So relying upon the long term, going from no from good W2 to no W2 to relying on the, the long term rentals, it wasn't enough. We realized that we actually had a lot of equity in properties, but they weren't producing a lot of cash flow. So on the mm. flip side to what you're saying, we realize, wow, we really need to get some cash flow built up quickly. Right. Like we were doing it as a long-term wealth generation mm -hmm. technique, not so much to live off the money. Okay, that's also the problem. Like the time you need that equity, you lose your job. Ain't nobody giving you yeah, a yeah, yeah, Like, yeah, hey, yeah, I, yeah. Get, exactly. I get you got cash flow and stuff like that, a bunch of equity, but so, we don't care. So although I do agree with with what you were saying, yeah. from the flip side, like a real, wor real world case study, we needed to go from good income to no income to all of a sudden generating larger yes. amounts of cash flow off these properties, which is kind of what forced us into the short-term rental game. It was kind of by accident. Yeah. We were going to go travel for a while and uh, we rented out our house in Colorado on Airbnb and it rented, it rented well. And we turned our only liability into an asset. And that asset was producing good cash flow, which really showed us how powerful it's the short-term like rental game can be. <laughs> it was well, by accident. See what happens. It, but at the same point in time, we didn't overpay for the house specifically for short-term rental income either. Yeah. Um, so there, there needs to be a little bit of hedge against the, uh, you know, overpaying. So it was one of those, you used, the, you used Airbnb like it was supposed to be used. I bought a homestead and then I rented it out on for short term periods. <laughs> well, and, and, and going back to what I was saying is uh, having a diversified portfolio, it's like you should have, I think your base should be of properties that have potential for appreciation and good cash flow. And then go to purely cash flow properties and go to purely appreciation properties to really hedge yourself. Like if one takes a hit, you know your cash flow is going to be taken care of. It's yeah. going to be good. It's in, in a good secure area. You know that that cash flow is always going to be coming in. Yes, you can't sell these, but you don't not struggling. You're not hurting for it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like if uh, for for our sake and stuff like that. So we have a lot of short term or not short term rentals, but like traditional rental properties. Boosted by cash flow from short-term rentals, but if something were to happen to that short-term rental, we needed to rent it out. It probably wouldn't rent it for what the debt service is going to be, but it will be at a negative hundred bucks, two hundred bucks. But from the positive cash flow of everything else, it right. can't sustain that. So you're not like I need to liquidate everything, like you see a lot of people to do. I mean, at that point, yeah, I, I'd look at it as you're playing kind of like the stock market. You just you're so over leveraged, and then you have to sell everything, all your winners, to cover your losses. Or like, well, if you built a, a property where it's like, hey, your your foundation sustains the more speculative, higher generating right. cash flow, higher risk stuff to where if it goes wrong, you can turn it into something else. And then you have positive cash flow while you wait a year or two for certain areas to come back. 